Okay, one of the one of my Facebook Facebook student actually sent this question to me, and he said he couldn't find uh any similar video for this kind of question in my YouTube channel. So I decided to make one video for this. Yeah, I hope can help him. Alright, in this question, is diagram 7 show two parallel line uh, for, for MN and PQ? So at least we have some information here. MN and PQ is a parallel. Alright, then uh, drawn on the Cartesian plan. So given that the equation of the straight line PQ is Y minus 4X equals to 3. Alright, then he asks you to state the equation for MP. So the question asks for equations of MP. So over here, you will need to understand something in order to solve this kind of question. The first thing is whenever I, whenever I see the equation, what I will do first is I will always change my equation into the Y equals to MX plus C form. I mean, I will change the equation into this pattern. Then at least I can know which one is the which one is the gradient, and which one is the y-intercept. All right, this is something quite important. So what I will do first is I will change this one first. So I will say y minus four x equals to three. So therefore, y will equals to four x plus three. So over here, at least I I can know the gradient for PQ is four. So this is gradient for PQ is 4 and then 3 over here actually means the y-intercept of PQ is y-intercept of PQ right so yeah you need to understand what is the meaning for y-intercept of PQ so if y-intercept of PQ that means this is line of PQ this is y-axis that's why the y-intercept means the intercept over here at the value of 3 that's why you see a 3 here and 4 actually means the gradient. So if the gradient of PQ is 3, that means the gradient for MN is 3 also because they are parallel. If they are parallel means, yeah, so if this gradient is, uh, yeah, so that means that if the gradient for PQ is 3, so gradient for MN is 3 as, um, no, no. Okay, my mistake actually is 4 because uh, yeah it's not 3 so that means the gra the gradient for mn will be 4 because the gradient here actually is 4 it's not 3 so the gradient of pq is 4 they are parallel so i know gradient of mn is 4 also so yeah so if you want to write in an exam paper may maybe you can write like this you you can write like something like this gradient uh okay you can write like this mn is parallel this symbol is is, uh, is standardized for parallel for P, uh, parallel with PQ, so therefore, gradient of MN will same with the gradient of PQ, which is will same with the four. All right. Then, in order to find the equation of MP, so you have to know what is the x-intercept of PQ. You have to find out what's the x-intercept of PQ. Then you can easily know the know the equation. Okay, you can easily know the equation. So what I want to do is, in order to find x-intercept, please remember this. In order to find x-intercept, y will always equal to zero. This is some sort like uh, methods, or you can call it a formula. I mean, you have to remember it. It's always work this way. In order to find the x-intercept, y is always equal to zero. And you have the equation. Do you have the equation? Yes. You have the equation y equals to 4x plus 3. So when y equals to zero, that means I substitute zero into the y. I want to find my x value because my x value actually will, uh, uh, will represent my x intercept when y equals to zero. So y equals to zero equals to 4x plus 3. So what I will have is 4, 4x will equals to negative 3. Then I solve this one, I know my x is equals to negative 3 over 4. Okay, if x equals to negative 3 over 4, this is x intercept, isn't it? However, in this case, the x intercept actually is also the answer for a. Because the x-intercept is x equals to negative 3 over 4, which is also the equation for MP. Okay, let me explain further about this one. Okay, 
okay, you have to understand some basic about equation. Okay, let's say this is y exit, this is x exit. Okay, where okay, whatever line is parallel to y exit. So I call it parallel to y exit is something like this. Okay, so it's something okay, let me draw again. It's something like this. Or something like this. This is called parallel to the y exit. So I will say they are parallel. So whenever they are parallel, let's say this one were passing through five. So the equation for, for this parallel line, the equation will be x equals to five. Let's say this is negative four. The equation for this straight line will be x equals to negative four. Okay, this is what happened when the straight line is parallel to the y exit. So the equation is only in this form. You will never see something that like y equals to mx plus c for this kind of equation. Right, so you have to understand about this. This is quite important for, for modern math. So you have to understand this. So same thing happens to the line which is parallel to the x-axis. Let's say I draw a line. And I call this line is parallel to the x-axis. So let's say he passing through the value is 7. So because it's passing through the y value in 7, isn't it? So this straight line we call y equals to 7. So y equals to 7 is the equation for this straight line. Alright, so let's say this straight line is passing through value of negative 3. I mean this value is negative 3 here. So the equation for this straight line, if the straight line is parallel to x axis, we call it y will equals to negative 3. Right, this is how we straight away find the equation without using y equals to mx plus c. Okay, this is some special case for the line uh, who is parallel to x exit or y exit. Okay, if you have the line parallel to y exit or x exit, you do not need to find the gradient. Alright, if you want to know this one further, of course I can explain this slightly further. But I won't go too far because this is just um, the modern math. But I do just, I just want to in, uh, increase your general knowledge about this one. So if this is x exit, this is x exit, and this is y exit, whatever the straight line is parallel to the x exit, the gradient actually equals to zero, and whatever the straight line is parallel to the y exit, the gradient is actually infinity. Yes, so this gradient is infinity as well. Therefore, for, for the line uh, which is parallel to x exit or y exit, you do not need to do the uh, you do not need to do the things like y equals to mx plus c. Okay, you do not need to do this one when the straight line the question tells you is either parallel to x exit or y exit. Mean you do not need to do the y equals to mx plus c. You can straight away write the value y equals to something or x equal to something based on the coordinates the straight line passing through on the exit. Alright, so I hope you can understand this one. So I will <laughs> I will come back to the question A here. So just now we, we found the x intercept which is the red dot here. The value actually is negative 4 over 3. So if this value is negative 4 over 3, so that means the equation for this straight line is just x equals to negative 4 over 3. This is the equation for straight line, means this is the equation of the straight line MP. Alright, that, that's why just now I say the x intercept is already the answer for A. Because this x intercept in this case is always it also represents the equation of the straight line A. MP. So therefore, equation of MP is x equals to negative 3 over 4. Right, this is A. I think this one is just maximum, maybe give you 2, two marks for this. And then we will go to the second part. Second part, the question asks you actually find the equations of MN. So you, want, you need to find the equation of MN. So you will need to have some information which is quite important whenever the question asks you to form the equation of a straight line and the straight line is not parallel to x exit or y exit you always need to do y equals to mx plus c but i i want to clear clear your minds on this also whenever you need to do the y equals to mx plus c 
you always need to make sure you have two information. First information, you must have the gradient of the straight line. Okay, M which is the gradient of the straight line. If you don't have, may, maybe you, you will need to use the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Maybe you have to use this formula in just to find the gradient. But however, in this case, this case the question actually use the word parallel. Parallel and then you, you know the gradient actually equals to 4 because because for because for the straight line Mn is actually parallel to PQ. So you have the gradient without using the formula. Alright. So second information for y equals to m x plus c mean in order to form the equation you will need one coordinate you will need one coordinate and this coordinate must always on the line okay must always on the straight line might mean this is a straight line the coordinate must on the line okay this is what i mean by on the line and this coordinate can be either x intercept y intercept or any point on the line all right so you will need two information just remember in order to form the equation you will need first you will need gradient second you will need one point all right then you can e easily form this equation so let's see this question so i have the gra gradient already it's, i want to find equation of mn i have the gradient and i need one point i do not have the coordinate n but i have the coordinate m because this is x intercept it's also the coordinates Alright, so you have to know when you x intercept is negative 3, that means the coordinate for m is actually negative 3, 0. Because x intercept means y equals to 0. So you have to understand this is the coordinates of m. Okay, now I have the gradient and one point. So I can form the equation. Alright, so okay, I have the point, point m, which is negative 3, 0. Okay, so I will always double check, I have the gradient, yes. And then I have the coordinate, yes. Okay, then I can start to do this one. So how I do is first I will substitute the gradient into y equals to mx plus c. So I say y equals to 4x plus c because my gradient is 4. Then I will substitute the coordinate into x and y. Of course, you will have to know negative 3 is the x value and 0 is the y value. So 0 equals to 4, negative 3 plus c. So therefore, this is 0 equals to negative 12 plus c and c is just equals to 12 and you, sh you shouldn't stop here because this is not yet the equation equation must be y equals to mx plus c so what i will do is i will substitute the c value back to the this equation okay is y equals to 4x plus my c is 12 so this one is the equation of mn of course you, you can write nicely you just write therefore equation of mn is y equals to 4x plus 12 right this is how we do the equation so you must notice that first is you have to find a gradient second you actually you have to find one point is on the line any point on the line will do so then you have to substitute into the uh, equation y equals to mx plus c and a lot of students they, they will to make one common mistake when they mark when I mark the exam paper is they will do something like this they substitute everything into it means when they get 12 and they will got 4 and have a coordinate they will do something like this like 0 equals to 4 negative 3 plus 12 there's nothing here this is not the way to find an equation whenever we call it equation means the you must be you must have the x and y in your equation then only we can call it equation because x and y is the variable mean this straight line is the coordinate will change based on the value x and y so you just remember if the question asks you to find the equation your equation must have the x and y and two constant value which is the gradient and the straight line uh, and the y intercept i mean All right anyways yeah i just spend like 15 minutes for this video so i hope yeah this video actually can clear clear your minds about how to solve the uh straight line question in paper two because i think this is one of the most easiest not to say most easy but one of the the easy chapters in paper two i just hope all the students can score well in in this part so yeah i really hope you find my video helpful and yeah, if you really like my video, you can subscribe or share it out. Anyways, thanks for watching.